So just imagine how devastating that mm -hmm. is. So she's really just sharing her story today in hopes that this really shuts down this whole scheme that's going on. So again, this business does not have the right permits to go ahead and do that. We have documents showing there have been complaints on Wrangler's Roost in New River dating back as far to 2016. Yet the owners of that property, Reed and Heidi Stort, continue to book weddings and events. Nestled in the quiet community of New River, you'll find Wrangler's Roost, a quaint Western style property advertised as a historic stagecoach stop established in 1890. It's a gorgeous place. Just the desert scenery is really, really beautiful. It's listed on the National Register of Historic Places and the website states there are three homes on the property. I thought it would be a really good place for everybody to meet in the middle. And we found a venue that allowed um, parties. For Holly Ann Tran, who moved to Vegas from Safford, it sounded like the perfect place to celebrate the happiest day of her life. I knew I was gonna get the Arizona sunset. I had my wedding in November of 2022. Holly Ann and her husband weren't the only ones. I've seen the pictures of the wedding. They've showed us pictures of other people getting married. The problem is county officials say the venue does not have an events permit. These owners of this property are running a business out of their what should be a residential home because it's not zoning for commercial. Back in 2021, the owners, Heidi and Reed Stewart, were ordered to cease and desist advertising or have any commercial business on the property without first getting a special use permit. They were fined $750, plus $75 a day if they continue to operate. County records reveal they've racked up more than $70,000 in fines so far. Sergeant Joaquin Enriquez says the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office also has issues of their own with the property owners. Since about, um, let's say, July of 2021, there's been 61 calls for service. You may say, well, is that a lot? That, that is a lot of times and resources that we have dedicated to this problem. Dozens of calls for loud music and bright lights well into the night. A few incidents were even caught on body cam footage. The issue is, is that this is not a valid location. Maricopa County Zoning and Ordinance has already told them to cease and desist if they continue to operate. We can hear it clear in somebody's house about 1,600 feet from here. So it travels. Now, we also spoke with one neighbor who tells me he's so frustrated that nothing was being done. He even chose to take matters into his own hands by suing Ringler's Roost himself. We also reached out to the owners and we'll tell you how that all went coming up at 530. Reporting live in the studio, Alexis Dominguez for Arizona's Family. Uh -oh.